Okay, so my opponent discusses about um, child abuse laws and other things. Well, I have here, according to Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment and Adoption Reform Act, child abuse is defined as the physical or mental injury, sexual abuse or exploitation of a child under circumstances which indicate child health or welfare is harmed or threatened. Um, so, she points out that it's not sexualizing the children. I have testimony of a sexual of sexualization from a previous pageant girl named um, Karen Cataline. Um, she wrote in an article that she wrote uh, that says, "I was in beauty pageants as a child," and she basically wrote about how she felt when she was younger and how she looks back on um, the videos and how how everything was, the process of the judges and everything. And she says, the old men scratching their crotches while I performed in skimpy costumes, the latent and confusing fear of being looked at sexually, which continued even into adulthood, and the hot sense that I had no face when I, when I was not made up on stage. Um, also, she points out how advertise or she, she discusses how society also does sexualizing or regardless they're going to be um, shown these and based, she basically says that they're they're going to get these effects anyway um, according to truth truth out active um, Henry Juro he wrote that the marketing of sexual child has a long history in the United States and um, he discusses about the American Psychological Association Task Force on Sexualization of Girls. They issued a report indicating a strong connection between young girls who have endured uh, premature emphasis on sex and appearance, and three of the most common mental health problems of girls and women are eating disorders, <coughs> low self-esteem, and depression, which goes into um, how how that affects their health. That is part of the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Adoption Reform Act, which is the physical or mental injury. Um, mental injury would be, you know, eating disorders, depression, low self-esteem. So, uh, like I said, she said that they're regardless they're going to be affected by this, so why not eliminate this one thing that's a huge impact on how they're, they're being, um, how their future is with, with their mental health. She also pointed out about Miss America and um, their recent winner. Uh, we're discussing about pageants under the age of 16 years old. Uh, we're not saying anything negative towards the pageants that are for over 16. Um, according to the Ugly Truth to Child Beauty Pageants, um, Dr. Valenze says that beauty pageants like Miss USA are competitions among mature, self-assured women who are com capable of making their own decisions, and the competition ultimately result in scholarship and volunteer work for women involved. Child beauty pageants, however, ruin their ch girls' childhoods and form force them to grow up believing in their looks rather than themselves. And um, I looked through some many different pageant places or organizations, and they all have pa pageant rules about stage perfection, which includes chin check, farewell salute, Miss America circle, pretty feet, pretty hands, pro am modeling the tulip, it's all these things that they have to perfect on stage. That's what they practice to do. They're, they're working on like how they're walking and it's so pinpoint to the point where you actually don't have a chance to be unique. Every single girl is learning the same moves, the same tulip, the same um, chin check, farewell wave, Miss America, the famous Miss America wave. Where is the individuality? I mean, the only individuality that you're getting is the the one chance that you do get, oh, a talent. 
but the majority of the time you're singing, you're dancing, why, why can't you just focus on that rather than doing that? As a talent where you're, part of your grade is what you look like physically. Um, according to Tiara's Before Bedtime, the author Brown discusses um, something that a, uh, a doc, prof professional doctor wrote, um, Dr. Monoka, who says that the message that the way you walk, the way you bat your eyelids is somehow what a society wants from children is very damaging. That it's not about the substance of your character, then, then your role in the sexualization message and it becomes a very toxic combination. In the sense where barrier between function and dysfunction is, is, tish, is tissue thin. Also to point out um, with regards to the child um, The child abuse law. Um, there are also physical injury to the to the children with um, hairspray and tanning beds. Hairspray, according to the Ugly Truth to Child Beauty pageants, uh, according to Dr. Travis Stork of CBS's The Doctor Hairspray, contains chemicals that act as hormone dis disruptors and have been linked to stunted growth and even lung cancer. Um, also with tanning beds, uh, childhood exposure to UV and the number of times a child is burnt by UV either from sun or from tanning beds are very known to increase the risk of developing melanoma, which is the most fatal type of skin cancer. So that goes into the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment um, Act. I'd also like to point out how... 